We've all been there. You've had a, a wonderful night out at a bar and you've met someone. The most gorgeous, beautiful, attractive woman you've ever seen in your entire life. You convince her to come back to your place and as you are, well, should we say, getting undressed, you realise something. As you are removing her incredibly attractive underwear, you realise this isn't a woman. It's a dumpster. And it's on fire. And as the smell of hot garbage wafts through your nostrils, you wonder, how could I have not noticed this? How did I not see that this wasn't an attractive woman, but was actually a dumpster fire? Welcome to We Happy Few. And if you watched the E3 trailer for this game and thought, oh, that looks interesting, I've got some dumpster-related bad news for you. Right, we are going to start a new game. You have three options when you start a new game at the moment. We have Second Win, uh, which is uh, puts the player in a dying state when the health reaches zero instead of dying instantly. We've got Permadeath on. Now, that's an odd one, because when we saw this game at E3, it looked like a story-driven Bioshock-esque game. Why would it have Permadeath? Apparently, the game is still story-driven, but in between the story bits, it's an open world procedurally generated survival game. And currently, that's all that's in the game. You get the prologue, which is the E3 bit, and then it's just a open world thing. And that's why I have a lot of issue with it. And a lot of, when I said on Twitter, I've actually not enjoyed this game very much. A lot of people immediately leapt to its defense going, well, it's in early access. Yes. Yes, it is. But I'm going to explain this again one more time for you all. If you pay $30, which is what this game costs, for a game in early access... That is the only version of the game you are guaranteed to get, is that version that exists then, and that is the one that I will talk about. I'm not going to go, oh, but it may change in the future, because I'm not going to recommend something that may never happen. I can only tell you what I've got in front of me, and is that worth the money? In this case, no! And we are in! We're sitting at a desk, there's a lightsaber on a plug into the machine, and there was a bin shaped like a Dalek in the background. Uh, somebody wins a garden prize, and there's an advert for communism there. Oh, but you're over communist. Okay, anti communism thing. There we go. We've approved that little bit of letter there. Seriously, that bin looks just like a fucking Dalek. Oh, I've censored a thing. That thing wasn't a good thing, so I've censored it. And I put it in the zoom tube. I mean, I'm not done with that. This is a cutscene, but whatever. So I looked at a thing, and now I'm imagining a train. You know, as you do. When life annoys, top up your joy. I thought it was a little blue pill that gave you joy, not the big red one. Restoration machine. Hold E to remember or hold V to take your joy. I'm going to remember. Because I like trains. We'll just throw them into the corner of the room. And we'll throw all of these into the Dalek! Yes! Wow, this new evolved form of Mr. Mime is kind of attractive. Did you forget we're having Deirdre's birthday party? Oh. We've got a pinata. Right. Brilliant. Oh, what you found? You found some joy. Uh, no. And also, I threw it into the other corner. Like, I threw it further to the right than that. But it's fine. You found it there. Maybe it bounced. Right, power back in the machine. Now to get back to my day job. I'm going to accept this document because it's nice. All these things are dated from, like, the 1940s. But according to that, it's 1964. So these are things almost 20 years old. Oh, my God. Censoring 20-year-old information. What are we? Clinton? Trump? Huh. Eh. Thank you, them. Well, my tube ran out of things to do, so I'm gonna have a look outside and see where it is we live. Yeah, we live in... Ooh, we live in floating buildings, apparently. Cool! This is Bioshock! Oh my god, look! It's Postman Pat! If Pat stood for pipes and tubing... Oh, open a door and a folder's flung out. And... Oh my god, it's landed on its side! What the fuck? There's, there's never anyone around to see it when you do something awesome like that. Fuck! Restricted area. No unauthorized personnel beyond this point. Fuck your rules! I'm gonna use his redactor. I'm gonna do his work for him. Mwah! I'm gonna uncense things so he gets fired. Farm work is expected to return from Germany. Pfft, Germany, I'm gonna allow that. And approved! Right, I approved everything, so he gets fired. Put that back on his tube. And goodbye! Oh, I haven't stood up yet. Goodbye! There we go. Who's this? Prudence, someone. Whatever happened to you, Prudence? Yeah, what did happen to Prudence? I think her E fell off. Oh wait, was that a thing that I just saw then? God, I've got to get a new fucking power cell for these things. Christ, on a bike. These things are powered like fucking Game Gears. Remember to turn in your automotive. Oh my good, not fine of a hundred pounds will be leveled against the registered owner of any automotive not turned in for that day. Oh my god, approved. <laughs> Fuck the establishment. Right, there we go. When she gets back, she'll be fired. So that's good. All right, that's the uh, second one of my co-workers fired. Well, this one, Hopkins Jones. Oh, that was closed. Oh. I put my dice. What are you doing? Oh. Okay. 
I fucking hate office politics. This game is really fucking beautiful for the first 15 minutes. It's absolutely stunning looking. I love all the paperwork and the terrifying clown face man outside. Can we have a look what's outside? Now we are genuinely just floating. Wow. <laughs> what's inside this room? Ooh, piñata! I really miss the piñata. It's huh. the most adorable Spanish custom. Uncle yes. Jack did a whole show about it. You smash it until all the candy comes out. Okay, can we just got candy? This is like candy with exercise. How is this more fun than just candy? Yay, I made it explode and all that delicious blood came out. Hang on a second. That's not a piñata, that's scabbers! Oh my lord. He's a downer. Call security. We've got a downer. I think I just lost my job. Why is there a handle on this side? Shouldn't that... Isn't that the pull side? Do you have a handle there because you grab it and pull? I don't know. Anyway. Oh my good grief. Ah, so much potential. About to be ruined. What the magic fuck was that? Oh my god, it's Bobby's! Out, fellas, there's fuck, 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 out. And now I'm in a sewer. And here's the thing that I'm gonna twiddle. Okay, can't twiddle the thing. Okay, I will defend myself on a pipe! Okay, I'm gonna hit around the face a lot. And then I'm gonna get kicked in the face. And then there's a loading time, and then I will appear in a completely different location for no reason. Right, I just woke up in this bed here, which is in this little location here. Hang on. Shush, Mr. TV. Uh, and yeah, so there's a... There, there seems like there's a big jolt between getting hit by the Rosas in the face with a bat, and then waking up here. But uh, the game ignores that right now in this version, so... Joy. Alright, grab some filtered water. I've got to grab some uh, medical supplies, take all that. Pick up the canned grapefruit juice. This is now very much a survival game. That's locked. Good. That's got rotten apples and metal bits and stuff in. Rotten mushrooms. Yeah, basically, gotta grab everything. And we are free to do what we want to do. Welcome to the world of We Happy Few. That closed very silently. Uh, this is a complete different map to the one you'll see if you play because the game is randomly generated. If we hit tab, we can see our quests. Our current quest is to escape. We've got to go to St. George's Holm. It won't be easy. You're damn right, because in the time I've been playing this, I've never actually managed it. Uh, this is the map. So this is the area we start in. So basically, we start a little islandy bit here, and then there's more map as you go. Everything's randomly generated. Uh, this is the crafting windows where you have to craft things. Not windows, though. This is the really horrible looking inventory screen. It, I kind of like the styling of it, but it makes it really hard to tell what anything is. I desperately struggle to know what the difference between some of these things are. Like, looking at them, could you tell what all of them are? What about the one above the mouse there? That was uh, strange meat. What about the, I don't know, this one below here? That was a rotten apple, apparently. What about this one? It's a dirty bandage. Well, that's an inventory expansion pack. Oh, hang on, I tap F. There we go, and I get a bit more of that. Right. Good. Yes. And also we can see our current status effects. Oh, we're thirsty already. Right. This game has sort of like Sims like you need to eat, drink, survival bollocks. Um, and sleep is the big fucking one. But they drop so ridiculously quickly. Like, we certainly slow down your stamina regeneration by 10%. I've just done the little bit there, and I'm up here, and immediately that's starting to just drop ridiculously fast. It drops ridiculously fast. Keep an eye on those. Lots of people will run up to you and say, give me a thing, and I will say, no. And I'm gonna just run off and ignore them. Expect the unexpected, tomorrow's another day. Search the big chest, it's locked. And there's an angrily scribbled note there. Good. Right, I made it to the ocean. So, I basically tried to run in as straight a line as possible. I'm now gonna orbit all the way round here. So I can uh, know how big this area is. And my food, my drink, my sleep, everything's starting to fuck me over. So that's good. Gotta pick all the flowers. Need them for healing items, I think. Right, we are coming up to what appears to be some sort of bridge. Uh, which we may have to cross, but the bridges tend to be... Uh, vicious or closed off or something. Lud's Bridge, as I say. This area's been beautified, apparently. Lud's Bridge was added to your journals. This is a quest. Something that I have to do. What it is. Place pipe. I need to... Right, there we go. I need to find a pipe valve. Or craft one. Probably find one in this game. Oh, found another thing here. Ah, uh, this is the danger. I believe that thing's gonna zap me. Sparkers keep you safe from downers. Yeah, I'm downer right now, so that thing's gonna vaporize me. So I've got to obtain the power cell. Was that quest? Hang on, what? 
that quest? Hang on, that one. That quest is a book one. Okay, right. Hang on, bridge crossing. I need, I can't get through the downer detector until it's got power, so I need to get my hands on a power cell. But then it would detect me as a downer. This bridge confuses me, so I will ignore it. Right, I have pretty much done one lap. This is one lap around this area. You can see it's not that big. There's my safe house there, so I'm going to run back in to get to my safe house. Uh, and in that time, I have gone down to 26% thirst left, 43% sleep. And my food is getting up to about half, which means that my stamina regeneration is down by 20%, and my maximum stamina is down by 20%. So basically, the game currently hates me. Right, let's have a drink. What have we got? We've got a can of grapefruit juice, which we will drink. And that will get us a empty glass bottle. Okay, we'll have another one of those. So we get another empty glass bottle. And, well, these glass bottles are completely different. Okay. And I'm going to eat moldy bread. There you go. Yum, 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 yum. Brilliant. Right, now i got to go home and sleep. That was my day. Right, I made it home. I will now sleep for apparently need six hours to get me back to maximum. So I'm going to sleep for six hours. Filtered water. We'll drink that. I'll get us our first gone. Hooray! And now we can exit the safe house. So tracking down water is important. We will do that now. Ooh, hang on a second. Water pump. Fill container with water pump. Yeah, do that thing. And then I can drink for the water pump. So we got water indefinitely here. Good. Just gotta find food indefinitely somewhere. I'll die. Ooh, here's a house we can go in. Is this someone's house? Might be that dude's house. If we go in and steal everything very quickly, we should be fine. Whoops. Is that empty power? So I just stole. Damn right it was. I can sit and read. Into a bottle. Ooh, metal bits are useful. Basically, I'm going to run in and loot this house because I need all the stuff. Pound in the toilet. No, it's just a penny. There's a guy here. But I'm going to steal his duct tape while he's not looking. And then, basically, I'm going to steal his everything while he's not looking. Oh my god, I just glue. What I glue for? There's a big purple pipe of purple pipiness there. Lovely jubbly. All right, bye. Bugger off. I'm buggering. I'm buggering. Right, okie dokie. Uh, yeah, the problem I have with the procedural generation of this game is that everything looks the same. It's, it's just the same sort of tree. It's that one fucking tree there, and there, and there, and there. There's not enough in the random generation right now. I, I just get so lost and turn around, I have to reference the map all the bloody time. Right, next junction. Yeah, I kind of have to basically remember where I am based on how far away that tree is from where I'm currently standing. That's sort of a medium distance. That's really far away. That's quite far away. And that's close. So we're going to go down the one where it's close. Uh, is that the door we're supposed to go down? No, we're ignoring that one for now. That's a different thing. The bridge we have to cross is that one where we need a power cell. So we need to find ourselves a power cell. And where the bloody hell do you find a power cell? I'm going to do a bit of a run because I think I got caught because I started playing some music and I've got my fists up. So I assume I've angered whoever lived there. And they're running at me. Yes, okie dokie. I'm going to knock inside this house. Be completely different, apart from it's exactly the same as that one we saw earlier. Is it in the same place? That, that's a brand new house. But that is identical to the one we first went in. Right, so this is our current main objective, which is escape. We either need to find the constable's key card, or this place is lovely music. We need to find a power cell. Right, what's in the locker? There's nothing in the locker. It's locked. Hang on, let's craft ourselves a lock pick. And pick that locket. Oh, actually, I've got to craft me some healing bombs while I wait. Because I've uh, got a lot of those plants. So I can heal myself a lot of times. I'm having to take a pill because the moldy bread I ate made me feel ill. And gave me food poisoning. Joy, right. Let's, pick, let's not pick that locker because apparently someone was seeing that. Who was seeing it? Or maybe that's I'm doing a dirty thing and people could see that if they see me unbuggered. But I guess nobody saw it. Metal bits have got a sewing kit. No power cells there. We have to move on. Can we craft a power cell? Uh, day bandage, 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 Jimmy Rin, Child Rock, sneakers, a torn suit, a proper suit. No, we can't craft a power cell. We're just going to have to find one in this completely randomly generated town. Hold E to disarm the uh, can trap alarm needs the clever trap tool. But from looking in here, it looks like it's the exact same one again. Do we even get a clever trap tool yet? No, we need to find a way to heal it. We'll make a clever trap tool, and then we can make a clever trap tool. Right. Ah, I searched in that kettle, and I found a thing that gave me two more recipes. So I've got to find a thing to give me the recipes to give me stuff. Tree that way. Tree far away. Tree medium way. Is it this way, then? 
I like navigating by this one tree thing that I see. Is that my base over there? I, oh god. I don't know. The game's warped me over here, so I'm going to assume maybe. Or is it just a thing that's lit up? Quest log. Mushroom log was added. I have to stealthily harvest mushrooms and eavesdrop on the couple. What couple? What mushrooms? All right, I've woke up. Let's have a look at me old inventory. It's getting a bit full. Quite a lot of this is just empty bottles, so if I put them in there, I can then use them as weapons. And it gets them out of here for now. I've got a pointy stick. and oh, just a branch. I can craft that into a pointy stick, though. And what can I eat? Uh, jerky! Yum, 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 yum. Right, now, I think we've been in the house. Or have we been in the house? I don't... No, we haven't in this house. This is just a house that's identical to the other one. And I'm unlocked antiseptic. Oh my god, this is the best day ever. Duct tape. Empty pill bottle. Still nothing of any use. Oh, I've got to get up there somehow. How do we get up there? Uh... I literally don't know. Mash the button, mash the button, mash the button. Maybe it's decorative. Yeah, because I can't get up there. I can't, like, run along the side or anything. Doesn't seem to be a way to get it. Now I am literally completely stuck. Right, I've basically picked clean this entire area. There's a small section here I've not done. And then all the interesting stuff appears to be that little blob of the map there. Okay, dokey. Is this house I've been to, or is this the one I just got out of? Wait. I oh, don't know. I think this is... No, this is the one I'm just in. Why yes. I've just turned around. I've turned my fucking self around. Free stew for those in need. I'm in need! Are you a... Oh, that's a floating hat. Why is it just a floating hat? Is there supposed to be somebody in this floating hat? I think somebody else has eaten some, uh... Strangely poisonous stew. Whee! Managed to get myself up here. Oh, now this you can actually pick up. Okay, okay, and that's just all dead ends, etc. With the floating hat. Ooh, a bottle. Ow. Where the fuck did that go? There it is. Mine. I like to point out Mr. Floating Hat thing isn't actually marked on my map, so I've got to try and remember where some of this stuff is as well. So some of it gets marked on your map, and some of it just doesn't. Well, this mission says we have to apparently cripple him or take him down in some way, so, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna lob glass bottles at him. And then, uh, I'll beat the shit out of him. Okay, well, now running away. Wait. Hang on, shit, did I beat the wrong guy up? Oh, fuck. Throw the bottles! Throw the bottles! Throw the bottles! Punch and punch and punch and throw the throw a bottle, throw a bottle! Why will you not get the bottles out? There we go, he's unconscious. No, he's dead. Let's see if he's got any power cells on him or anything. Nothing. I've got his branch now. Double knocker is now available in your journal. Oh. Uh, hi. Right, I'm going to eat a strange meat. I'm going to have a drink. Uh, that's sleep. Oh, we're not going to sleep yet. Uh, can we craft... Ooh, a double knocker. Let's craft that. What's a double knocker? I don't know. Ah, it's a stick with two rocks tied to it. Good. Okay. Right, let's go through the quest. My main encounter is I've got to get across that bridge which ties into escape, and the way you escape St. George is to go through here. So I need to take the constable's keycard or a power cell. Possibly, possibly both. Got to find some bobby somewhere. Right, uh, Ludd's Bridge, you've got to repair the pipeline with a pump repair kit, which we don't have, or find a pipe valve, again, we don't have that. Uh, and Mushroom Log, stealthy harvest the mushrooms I couldn't find. Campfire, get the ducky, with no other information. Mysterious, mysterious chest needs a key. And Crazy Legs, incapacitate the runner. Well, that's the one I tried to do. Fuck that one up. Okay, I got past the clever trap tool by being very clever, and by being very clever I meant going through the big hole in their wall. There didn't seem to be anything there. Maybe actually, I didn't check upstairs. Let's check upstairs! You look sad. I'm gonna steal all your things. Sewing kit, feather cloth, metal bits, duct tape, tar. Ooh, flimsy cricket bat, but my inventory is full. The lurker. Steal the lurker. I wanna steal the lurker. I'm gonna steal the lurker, thanks. Reduces visibility. Visibility. Mmm. Another empty power cell there. Sewing kit of half inch that nobody saw. Uh, what else we got? Anything? Anybody up here? No, let's go. Let's go crazy. Light bulb, shredded raincoat, torch empty is now available. Two empty power cells. Clever trap tool and brilliant trap tool. Whee! So I had to actually go through the side of that building. It's, oh god. I'm gonna sleep in these guys' houses. Oh my god, they're really pissed off because I tried to sleep in their house. Okay, okay, okay. Search the kettle. I found a joy pill! Woo! Okay, fill the gap. Oh my god. I landed on that poor lady. Ah, she's probably fine. Alright, I think I've lost them via the art of running away really fast. 
Uh, so I can now craft a clever trap tool and a brilliant tap tool. I need mechanical stations. I've got to go home for that. Uh, and I need more mechanical parts. Need the brilliant ones. If we go for a clever trap tool, although that's the only trap that I've found so far. And the way to disarm that trap was actually past that trap. Uh, oh, that torch empties a flashlight, but the power cell is empty. Good. And I've got no room for inventory. Right, I'm going to head back to my base and do some of my uh, base-related things. Such as moving things around in my uh, lock-up thing. Stumbled upon a very weird treehouse and I'm making a leap for it. Hello. I'm, that's, oh, there you go. So, I wonder where you were. I thought you were a chair. Key with secret hole. Hang on, are you a shop? Do you sell things? Nothing lasts forever. Does it? Welcome to the Special Operations Executive. You're the new agent, aren't you? Alfie, what's his name? Great. Here are the other agents. This is Charlie Croker. Okay, not a shop, just a lunatic. I have my personal safe. What do I not want to carry with me anymore? Well, Jimmy Bar. We'll put away the dodgy one if we need it. We'll come back for it. Pocket expansion kit. Oh my god. See, this is why I don't like this menu, because it becomes really bloody hard to know what anything is. Apparently that's a pocket expansion kit. Let's open that thing up. Okay, more stuff in my pockets. Right, there's a lot of items thrown away. I kept a few things that I thought I'm going to need. They're all in my personal safe. Uh, so now I'm going to have a sleep for three hours. What time is it? It's a.m. Yeah, Sweet sure. Dreams, Arthur. Quick sleep, grab some food, have a drink outside. Everything will be nice. It's a new day. Yes, it is. Let's drink from the water pump. Keep drinking, keep drinking, keep drinking, keep drinking, keep drinking. Okay, so our stats should now be absolutely everything's fine, apart from sleep. 3% sleep, just climbing up that thing and having a drink is gone. Nice. Okay, right. Apparently I've got increased suspicion because of my suit's torn or something. Hat stand. Up the hat stand. Round here. Right, this was the cuddly toy that I found. Is this not the one I'm supposed to take? I guess not. Okay. Not that cuddly toy. A different cuddly toy that's completely somewhere on the map. Random. Oh, there's a guy here. Her again today. Oh, What's she stay away? Look. Can you help me out? Uh-huh. Oh, I'm in a bit of a pickle. I can tell. You're leaking pinata. Shit, I need to find antiseptic. Hang on, I can craft antiseptic. How do we craft antiseptic? Uh, chemical... Antiseptic, what do we need? We need rotten potatoes. Right, I've got to go find a rotten potato to heal that guy up. I'm going to steal all this shit first, though. Dude, wait, trap chest is in booby traps? Let's leave them be. Oh, hello, what's happening here? Three people have just died to smash up a pipe. Oh, well, <laughs> good luck to them. Wait, shit, isn't a pipe thing I need? Hang on, was this the house that I broke into and stole all of the things? Let's have a look-see. It is! Unless this is just the same house repeated. Which also is a high probability. Okay, we should beat these people down, because they uh, attacked me for sleeping. Oh, good oh. night! Right, took one of them down, now I'm running the fuck away. Okay, time to get my it's... fight on. Hit them! Clobber! Smash! Annihilate! Ha 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 ha! This weapon, after four hits, as you can see, is a tiny one pixel slither of a thing he left before I assume it just breaks. So I can hit people with that about four times. Ah, that's good to know. Okay, pump repair kit is now available in your journal. How do we build a pump repair kit? Metal bits and duct tape. Marvelous. Right, we can now repair this broken water pump. Now, fixed water pump. Hooray! I've received a pipe valve. Place the pipe valve in the door controls. It's a thing! We're progressing! Right, this, I believe, is the big door where we needed the pipe thing. Okay, okay, right. Maybe we'll actually progress. Stop swearing at me, I'm fixing your bloody things. Right, place the pipe valve. Hooray! Open the doors requires power. As in, as in a power cell. As in... <sighs> fuck it, I'm just going to sit here and... Rest in my feet. I'm going to do what's known as the English strategy. That's uh, sit the fuck down and wait for it to blow the fuck over. Oh, hang on a second. This is a pipe thing here. This is power here. I can repair it here. And now, we're progressing. I've been playing for fucking almost two hours and we're progressing. Hello. You appear to have bees for a head. Hit you. Oh, God. Hit you. And my double knocker broke. Hang on a second. I need to get another one out of my inventory. Shit. Hang on. Stop punching me. Fuck's sake, I can't hit you with anything until I get out of the inventory and there's fucking one of those stupid fucking non calling fucking inventories. I'm up. There you go. You can't climb, can you? No, good. Right. Branch. There we go. And good. Okie dokie. Right. Eat my bottles. Alright. Eat my city stick of hittiness. And that's broken. Jesus fucking Christ. Ow. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Alright, you're down. 
Uh, rotate, rotate, F, healing bomb, healing bomb, healing bomb. And I'm fine. Oh, good. God, I've got a new little icon by my head. What's the red icon mean? Plague! Makes you tired until it kills you. Joy. And I'm in the second area of the game. Oh, <laughs> where we will have a very smooth and unnoticeable load time. Greetings from Vice City! Are these new? Obtain a power sword, obtain a Cosmos keycard. So this is where we get these things from here. So if I just run around there like I was doing searching for things for two fucking hours, doesn't matter because the game's actually put them onto this island. This island that looks exactly the fucking same as the other one. Joy! I've worked out a really clever way of disarming these traps. See? How clever was that? Oh, hang on. I found another safe house. Apparently I've got another safe house. I don't know why, but I do. Oh, look at that. Someone's moved all the stuff from my previous personal stash into this one. That's nice of them. Oh, branch be gone. I've crafted myself a pointy stick. Oh, yeah. I don't believe I need a fucking blueprint for that, but oh, yeah. This looks like the stuff you put in power cells, but there doesn't seem to be a way to plug your power cell in to drain it away, so... Guess we're not going to fill up our power cells that way. And oh, that's another broken maintenance door. Right, that's our area. Guess we gotta go back up. Right, everything looks the same but a little bit different. No, uh, water pump here, which is a shame. There's a man running at a bench there, and everything just looks identical on this island as well. That's really disappointing. I kind of wanted. Hang on a second. Fuck your rules! I kind of wanted to have, you know, some sort of. Fuck your rules! Different kind of style on each island, but it just looks the same. Right, if that's my point, it's a this guy who's yelling at me. Oh, yeah, it's very. Oh, it's a good eye gouger, this pointy stick. There you go. And that didn't even take up all of it. That only took up about a third of it. So I can kill three people with one pointy stick. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, shit. Hey, it's the old Bill. I'm supposed to find them and take them down. And there's three of them. And I can only kill two more people with my pointy stick. So I'm going to run away. Rescue poor Ralph from the mob. Sorry, I'm not going to do that. I'm running past. Oh, I've done it anyway, though. Lovely. Oh, my God. I'm still being chased. Who the fuck? There's just a random bloke chasing me now. He just fancies chasing me. Oh, no, Ben, I love a rock. Fuck you. Ha ha. Oh, look, this house doesn't appear to have a roof properly attached. Oh, wait, no, it does. Yeah. Right, fuck it. I'm gonna have a joy pill. Just I fancy having a joy pill. Ah, oh, much better. There we go. Yeah, let's have a nice saunter through here. It's so much nicer now I've had the joy pill. Wee, bit of a run. And all the buildings are still damaged and destroyed. I thought everything would look beautiful once at the joy pill. But everything's just sort of still. Everything's still identical. Ah. I thought we'd have a nice finale where I go take a joy pill and everything looks like it's really lovely. But apparently... Apparently that just adds a bit of a rainbow and a pink tint. So it's less a joy pill and more an Instagram filter. The Nerd Cube! The Nerd Cube! Ah. The Nerd Who? The Nerd Cube!